Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. That's my driver. That's Matt. We have an issue with my driver that is a self-inflicted issue. I have just put an old shaft back into my new driver. The swing weight for this head is for a different shaft. Therefore, the swing weight was a bit wrong. We were looking at D9. Is that what we were? Yep, D9. So we've we've just um we've just done my wedge, haven't we? We were saying like D9 is very heavy, but you can kind of get away with it with a wedge. Yep. D9 for a driver, not ideal. No. Yeah, it's um yeah, you're gonna feel the club head, but you're gonna lose a lot of speed as a result. Um and there's really you know, there's really no benefit to having a driver that heavy when the goal of the driver is to get it out there yeah. as far as possible. And like this shaft went in my previous my sim 2 but i had it at 47 and a half we've had to make alterations to the length because usga changed the changed the rules the yep. swines i'm still angry um so by changing the length of this one it's uh, quite a light shaft it's actually 55 grams so we have kind of two options don't we we could try and change the weights on this club yep so we have two weights, you know, there's a weight there that you could kind of see there's a number on it. So you could try and get a lighter one of those, could get a lighter back weight. But my thinking is I like counterbalance. Um, I'm trying something that's very light anyway, so total weight shouldn't be a problem. So we're kind of going for option A, we're gonna put lead underneath the handle and it is our intention to basically balance the club out that way. Yep, so we're gonna counterbalance it. So we know what the swing weight is with the grip on it. Uh, so then to make sure we get a counterbalance to the right weight, put it on the swing weight scale. Uh, without a grip, it comes out to E8. We know it was at D9 with the grip. So now we're gonna try and get it down to um, D3, D4. Uh, that's typically what Steve's drivers are built to. Uh, so we're gonna, you know, we're looking for a five to six swing weight, uh, swing weight point decrease there. And that's gonna, that's gonna be quite a lot of lead, isn't it? Uh, it is. Fortunately, because it's under the grip, we can get a longer strip of lead tape than what you normally see on a club head. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's gonna help. Um, and the nice thing about lead tape too is it's so malleable that we can build it up under the grip and as you grip it, as you use it, it's going to compress, it's going to form around your hand, so it's not actually going to make the grip feel any bigger or, you know, affect you in that regard, which Good is stuff. really nice. It is nice. I was worried about that, mate. I was. <laughs> and do you have a particular way to do it, or is it just literally I just find like a to, space? I just like to run it down the side of the shaft, start with one strip, um, you know, I know roughly how much this is going to affect the swing weight, um, but I'm going to do one strip at a time. We're going to check the swing weight after every time, and we're trying to get it as precise as we can. Um, and it's a lot of just me double checking that I'm getting everything the right length. We don't want any lead tape sticking out from under the grip, uh, anything like that. Make sure we don't have any creases in it. I think that like, I'm changing the shaft completely. If someone was maybe putting, like if you were putting a jumbo grip on or you had a jumbo and you were putting a standard, um, if you were changing the length at all, these little things can actually kind of blow the swing weight into, into strange territories, can't it? They can. Um, you know, we're, you're changing grip sizes as well. Uh, so that was part of the change that affected the swing weight. Oh, absolutely, yes, I did. I had a jumbo on that one. Um, so that's that's probably the biggest impact that we're dealing with in this. Mm -hmm. um, but so that first strip of lead tape took us down two swing weights. Again, we're looking for five to six. We're gonna put the second strip on. If I've cut everything exactly the same, it's gonna be another two swing weights. <laughs> it's a big if. <laughs>
Okay, so that gets us close, but not quite there. Still about a swing weight and a half okay. heavy. And um, would you be worried? So let's say, so that, like I said, this is a light driver. Imagine it's not uncommon for someone to be using like a 75, almost 80 gram driver. Right. Um, if you were in that situation and then needed to move it, you know, like six points is quite considerably. So if you were then putting on that lead tape, would you be a little worried that the total weight's going to get a little out of control? Absolutely. Uh, what we're doing right now, it's, it's not super common because of total weight concerns. Uh, in this case, you're a stronger fellow. Um, Thank you. So total weight isn't the concern. We've had you in heavier shafts before had great results from them. So we're not concerned about total weight as much as we might normally be. Uh, and that's a huge consideration when you start trying to counterbalance things. Mm -hmm. And are you a fan, you can actually get like the counterbalance. Yeah. You know, do you like those? Um, I do. This is a little bit simpler, a little bit easier on my end. I have, uh, I think it's easier to control. Um, you know, I can, I know how much lead tape does what roughly with swing weighting. Uh, so that's my preference, but there's nothing wrong with the counter, with mm -hmm. the counterbalancing kits. And let, let's say somebody didn't have access to this. Um, by putting on, again, if I've got a standard grip, if you, you can, like a cord grip would be heavier, uh, you know, a mid-size, a jumbo. You, by yeah. getting a heavier grip could kind of help, couldn't it? it absolutely. Um, you know, there's, even within, if you just look at standard grips, if you look at different brands, different styles, they come in in all sorts of weights. Um, so if it's, you know, if lead tape isn't the option, things like that, you can look at grips. The bigger the grip, the heavier it is, that's going to help with swing weighting. Um, and again, different models of grips have different weights. Yeah. Uh, so that's another way to, to change swing weights if you need to. Yeah, and I always find, um, like with putters in particular, you know, somebody will be struggling with their putter, change grip. Sometimes you can change from something that's so different in weight. Um, your putter is going to feel like a completely different putter. Absolutely. You know, so it, it, it's just things to like consider. If you, so for example, if you don't like your putter, you're probably not going to have to worry about that and you might end up finding a balance or a weighting that you like. But if it's like an old favorite, you do just have to be that little careful, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, for me personally, when I work on my own clubs, anytime I want to change something, kind of look at how the club's been working for me and I really try to stick to if it's not broken don't fix it you know if it's working for you at that time use it until it stops working for you and then you can look at something else mm -hmm. uh, there's just so many variables in golf you want to control what you can but also understand if something isn't working don't be afraid to experiment try new things <laughs> good it's now legal at 46 yep. so we've already checked that and now hopefully the swing weight is where it needs to be what are we seeing Yeah, so what's it now? You're sitting at D four and a half. So still heavier than most drivers, 
Uh, but for you on your past drivers, that's been the swing wave we're accustomed to seeing. Good see. stuff. So thanks for that. I'm excited. So obviously I have a new head. Put in an old favorite. Got the length right, got the weight right. Time to hit some great shots. But always appreciate your help, Matt. Yeah, absolutely. Great guy. If you've got any questions for Matt, get them in the comments down below. If you've got any questions for me, comments below. If they're nasty, go away. We don't need them. Two nice guys doing nice things for each other. Be nice, people. Be nice.